Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread for the week of April 1st through April 7th and it's been quite a while since I've planned. I kind of took a little break from planning. Um, it's been really, really busy at my work and I just haven't really been feeling um, super well in terms of like my mental health and like my energy and things like that. So I did take about a three week break and I'm back and feeling really motivated and excited to plan again. So um, I definitely needed a little bit of time away. So anyways, this week was actually my spring break week, so I didn't have work. I had the week off and it was amazing. Um, my boyfriend and I did take a little trip to San Antonio this week, and for this spread, I decided to pull in this really fun kit from Creative Seller. This was kindly sent to me by the owner to try out, and um, I was kind of conflicted using this kit for spring break because these llamas are so cute, but they're kind of bundled up, so it's more wintry, but then these colors feel more spring and summer, so I was like, like, oh, I don't know when to use this, but I decided that I really like this color scheme and I would just go ahead with it anyway. So here we've got all of the full boxes on this page. We have some heart checklists. We have the date covers and half boxes and our half boxes have like this little pom pom in the center, which I think is really cute, but I might not choose to use all of these. I might pull in some half boxes from my collection. Um, we've got some three heart checklists, some build do stickers, and then this like little vertical deco and some flowers at the bottom. And then here we've got these like half boxes, um, but they're like completely filled and has this print. So I feel like this would be really great to take up some space if you have extra space or on like these boxes, you could put like a text sticker to um, mark what you did. We've got some more deco pieces here and then six, no, seven sidebar trackers. Um, so that's quite a lot. I usually only use one in my planning. Over here we have the water trackers, which I don't really use, although I probably should because I don't drink enough water. Um, we have these little vertical washi strips. We have some notes boxes and then these like little check boxes as well as a few more deco pieces. And then on this page, we have a huge um, double box here. I think it takes up the um, space of two or four boxes um, on your Erin Condren, so actually a quadruple box, I guess. And then, oh, we have more half boxes here, so I'll probably end up pulling these in um, with the pom-pom half boxes. And I'm just realizing now that this kit doesn't come with bottom washi, so I'm going to go through my collection and try to find some washi that would work with the kit and yeah, so this is a really different formatting that I'm used to and I'm really excited to um, try it out because it's always fun like having to kind of be creative when using a new kit format. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in and explain everything as I go. Like I mentioned earlier, this kit did not come with any bottom washi, so I did go through my collection and found two washi that I thought would kind of match the kit. This first one I'm putting down with all the clouds is from Simply Gilded. I picked that up quite a few years ago when I first started planning, and it's still one of my favorites to this day. And then the bottom one that I pulled in is a washi that I got from Japan, and I just thought the colors were um, a good match for the kit because it's kind of bright and has like the pinks and the blues and stuff like that. So I just thought those two would match the best. And after I'm done with the washi, I place down my corner box. And for this week, I decided to white out the corner flags of my Erin Condren and place down a little flower deco to take up that space. Continuing with my sidebar, I used a glitter header from Mandy Dreams. Um, all of my glitter headers this week are from her shop. And then I found, um, or I used this habit tracker that came in the kit to track my working out. And then I found a quarter box from my leftover stash to um, mark all my happy moments. And then I found this like Monday through Sunday box also from my leftover stash um, to again, mark the happy moments. At the bottom, I wanted to track my dinners as I usually do, and I couldn't find any more um, boxes that really matched this kit. And so I had this like goals um, sidebar tracker. I think it's from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, but it was from like forever ago. And so because I'm not tracking goals, I just whited it out. And then that what's for dinner sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. I then scooted everything a little bit just to um, kind of even it out because I felt like it was really squished on top and then I had extra space on the bottom. So once I'm done with that, I move on to Monday. Like I said, this week was my spring break and so I didn't have work, which was amazing. Um, I put down a glitter header at the top with a scallop label that is also from Creative Seller. She sent that along with this kit and I really, really like those and pulled them in quite a lot this week. The Sleepy Emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I used a camera sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I filmed a plan with me that morning. 
I then placed down one of the llama full boxes at the bottom and then I moved back to the top. So the next thing I do is put down a half box and I pulled in this pokey bowl sticker from Plans with the Nest to mark that we went and got some pokey. It was so good. It's like one of our favorite places. And then um, we also got pizza after because there's a pizza place nearby that is like super good. Um, so we couldn't pass up the opportunity. That pizza sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I marked some things that I got done that afternoon on the three hard checklist and one of them was filming a haul. So I pulled in this really cute washi tape sticker from planning like a pro. That night we watched a movie. It was called a simple favor. Um, and it was kind of strange. I don't know how I felt about it, but, um, yeah, it was interesting. And that TV sticker is from, I think it's from planner frenzy. And then, um, I ran out of space to mark the next thing that I wanted to mark. So I ended up uh, trimming off just a little bit of the full box at the bottom and then that packing sticker or suitcase sticker is from paper and milk and I just use that to mark that we packed for our San Antonio trip which was the following day on Tuesday I started by using a quarter box from my collection and that suitcase sticker is from uh, sweet box paper re it's super cute and like old school and um, I finished packing that morning because I didn't end up finishing the night before we had some leftover pizza for breakfast and then we flew out to San Antonio so to mark the flight I put that on the full box and the airplane sticker is from Hazel sticker the brush pen that I used to write flight is the Tombow Fudenosuke, and then I trimmed a little bit off the bottom of the full box because I realized that I didn't have space to mark everything that I wanted to, and I did also end up trimming off a little bit of the top as well. I placed down a glitter header and a quarter box from my collection. Um, that heart location sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And I use that to mark that we made it to San Antonio. And then I placed down a half box with a beer sticker from Art Box Stickers and a happy hour script from Paper and Milk to mark that we got some beer and some food for happy hour when we got there. And um, this next part, I just like ended up squeezing in everything that we did on a heart checklist because we did so many things and it was like impossible to just list them all individually and so I found this heart checklist from Cricut Paper Co and um, I used that with a glitter header from Mandy Dreams to mark all of the little things that we did when we got there so first we checked into our Airbnb and then we just went to like a bunch of bars and restaurants and stuff for the rest of the night to get dinner and then get drinks and stuff and it was a super, super fun night. Um, we just kind of like wandered around. We didn't really have anything planned out. So um, it was pretty spontaneous. The taco sticker is from Plans with Finesse and the beer sticker is from Paper and Milk. Moving to Wednesday, I first started by putting this cute llama full box at the top, and then um, we started the morning by getting coffee, so I used a quarter box, or I think it's a little things, and that coffee sticker is from a shop that's no longer open. I then put down a glitter header with an appointment label and a shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we walked down the river walk, which is basically this little walkway along the San Antonio River, and they've like totally um, renovated it, and it looks super nice. There's like all these cool things along the way. It kind of felt like a hybrid between the Indiana Jones and the Jungle Cruise ride at Disneyland, so it was pretty cool. And then uh, we walked all the way to the Alamo, um, which I marked using a little deco sticker from the kit because I obviously don't have any um, Alamo specific stickers. And then I marked where we got lunch. And then we also checked out a couple breweries after that. The uh, Mexican food plate sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I then put down another scallop label from Creative Cellar to mark that we went back to our Airbnb and relaxed for a little bit. And the pillow sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then cut up a heart checklist from the kit and marked um, where we went that night. Um, I used a crying emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. because for dinner we got this like spicy chicken sandwich and they warned us that it was spicy, but because I like spicy food, I was like not afraid. And then it was so incredibly spicy that I ended up crying. And so that emoji was perfect. And um, then moving to Thursday, we headed out of San Antonio that morning. It was a really, really short trip. And um, I marked some to-dos at the top with a three heart checklist. That suitcase sticker is from Sweet Bean Plans. And then I used one of the half boxes with the pom-pom to mark our flight home. And it wasn't until I put it down that I realized that um, the box was just a little too skinny for the Erin Condren box. As you can see, it doesn't fit the whole width of it, um, but that was okay. And the plane sticker I put down, I think is from Very Cute Designs. 
Um, I then put down a full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And moving into the remaining space, I used a quarter box with a um, sleeping mask sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that I took a nap when I got home because we had to wake up like super early that morning. Then I journaled our trip in my new bullet journal and I did upload a video on that. It's called Travel, Plan, and Journal with me, I believe. Um, so you can check that out if you haven't already. But that cute planner sticker was a leftover, so I don't really know where it's from. I'm sorry. Anyways, then I trimmed down part of the full box to fit a grocery sticker from Lemon Paper Co. because we did go and grab some groceries. We didn't really have any food at home um, and then that night we started watching the marvelous mrs Maisel, which is so amazing i had heard about this show for a long time and i finally started watching it and i'm just in love and totally waiting for the next season now um, and i put that on a half box which was for my leftovers collection to mark that and it's so cute with a little bow in the middle once I'm done with that, I moved to Friday. So I started with a glitter header at the top. Then I used a flag sticker from Creative Cellar with a sleeping mask, which is from my Leftovers um, Collections book. And so again, I don't know where that's from, I'm sorry. And then I used a three heart checklist to mark some places that we went or some things that I did. And the boba sticker is from a happy blue tree. I then put down another full box with the llama and that one's so cute and underneath that I put down a half box. The edit and upload text stickers are from Sunset Sticker Co and that cute little YouTube button is from Paper and Milk. I then did a workout so I put that on another um, scallop label and that shoe sticker I pulled in is from Planning in Mint which is now Bloom Paper Studio I believe um, but I quickly show you that sheet of stickers because that was the very last one so I'd finished an entire sheet of stickers which doesn't happen that often um, so yeah I definitely need to see if she still carries those in her shop. Um, at the end of the night we watched more Mrs. Maisel and so I put down another TV sticker from Planner Frenzy. On Saturday, I first put down a full box at the top and the pillow sticker I used to mark sleeping in is from Toffee Bananas. And as you can see, this spread had a lot of like pillows and sleeping masks and things like that. So it was a really, really good week for relaxation, which is exactly what I needed over spring break. Um, anyways, I used a makeup sticker underneath that to mark that I got ready because I was heading to San Diego for the day. Um, that makeup sticker is from Paper and Milk. And then I put down a little things before moving to Sunday and sticking the full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I had wanted it. I lifted up the little things to add a glitter header and then um, that car sticker I used is from Hazel Sticker. Like I said, I drove to San Diego that day to hang out with some friends and first I grabbed brunch with one of my girlfriends. So to mark that, I used the pancake sticker from Happy Dia Stickers and they're so cute, but I think I recently saw that she had um, redrawn her pancakes so they look kind of different now. Um, but after that, I went and visited my friend and her baby who is just getting bigger and older and more independent every time I see her. Um, I pulled in a bow sticker from Hazel sticker and then a flower from the kit. I then drove home, so I put that on a little things, and then um, we went to Trader Joe's to grab some groceries, and I found my new favorite chips. They're like the truffle potato chips, and they're so good. I always have to have a bag um, at hand. They're just amazing. So if you ever have a chance to try them out, I highly recommend them. And then that night, we watched more Mrs. Maisel, so I used a TV icon from Hazel sticker. On Sunday, I started with a half box and used another um, sleeping mask sticker. I think that one might be from Laven Forest. I have so many of those. And um, it was a really lazy morning. Again, exactly what I needed. This was the last day of my spring break. And then we went and took a walk um, on a trail just to get a little exercise in. So that shoe sticker is from Simply Laura Paper Shop. We had to go to the cock store to return something, so I used a little things to mark that. And then one of my friends um, came to town really quick because she was just stopping by after a bachelorette party and she had like tons of leftover stuff from it. So we ended up getting like all this food and all this alcohol because she couldn't bring all of it home. She was like flying home. So yeah, I used a Happy Buddy the Unicorn sticker from um, Ruby Trev to mark that. And then we went and got dinner that night and I dropped her off at the airport. So I used a little taco sticker to mark our dinner and to mark dropping off my friend at the airport I just pulled in a little deco um, the flower deco from the kit 
At the bottom of the full box, I put down a scallop label with a crying sticker from Artbox stickers to mark that. Um, basically, that was the end of my spring break. And while I had a wonderful, relaxing time, I was just really sad for it to be over. Um, and yeah, now I'm just adding in some deco to the top. I decided not to use the date covers that came with the kit because I wanted to put down deco instead, um, just because there were so many like really cute pieces that came with the kit. And after I finished placing all those down, I just go ahead and fill out my sidebar, which I always say for the very end. And um, now I'm just showing you all the stickers that I have left in the kit. I did not end up using that quadruple box because um, it was a pretty busy week and I didn't have enough space for it. But um, yeah, I'm just going to add all of these stickers to my leftover stash and then I'll be doing a giveaway um, in probably like a month or so. I don't think I have very much yet. Um, so be on the lookout for that if you're ever interested in entering. Um, but yeah, so this is how my spread turned out. At first when I finished planning, I wasn't really thrilled by it because I felt like it um, was really like incohesive because I had to pull in a lot of stuff for my leftover stash but now that I'm looking at it I actually really love it it's so bright and so fun um, and those llamas are adorable so I think I'm actually really happy with how this turned out and I'm also really glad that this was for spring break because again these bright colors just make me really happy and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always and I hope I will see you guys in the next video bye